and just be like last time and stayed here till like nine. Yeah, and don't even shoot a show. That we don't care. Weird. Are we shooting? Well, no, we, we should enough. be. Welcome to the show. Wait, no, we gotta get ready. Going. We gotta get ready for the show. So we're gonna get ready. This for is show. our. Uh, this is pre- our pre-show pre- show. show. But you'll put a wall. This is our pre-show. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is us reviewing what we're gonna do. Did you see uh, Conan? Conan, because I like to call him Conan. 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 Hey, Conan. Yeah. That's fun too. Uh, but uh. <laughs> Okay, um, Conan, <laughs> there's this guy called the, uh, the, the Rage Recliner, or the Recliner of Rage, and there's this black guy sitting on his recliner. And oh, they, I'm so glad there's that pimp and bot. It, no, and they have him go off about things. Oh, just like ranting and but, stuff? But he doesn't, his That's rage, what I need. no, but his rage is so like, he always has like a, a smile on his face, but he's really <laughs> angry though, but he always like, and you know, I don't know, he just talks, he talks more nerdier than I do, okay? So he was just like. So glad he's like, no, he was like, you know, he was like, you know, I am very offended about uh, the uh, trade paperback system of uh, this book. It was like X Men and uh, Star Trek or something or whatever. And he was like, they released like one and three and didn't release two or something. And he said because they they ended it or something. You know how like they didn't want to go with trade paperbacks then. And he yeah. explained the trade paperback system for like three or four minutes during the whole show time. And people are like sitting there not understanding what he was talking about. Man, that must be what our audience felt like. When I we know. Went it. It we Con- went, what, and then Conan was like, he said two people out of two out of 30,000 30, people or something that watched this probably understood what he was talking about. You're one of now. them. And Nina was, like, Nina was like, and my mom was like, you probably understood what he was talking about, didn't you? I said a little bit. <laughs> Anyways, all right, that's our free show. We get ready. store and you should be here too hanging out with us because we have all kinds of strippers everywhere we're not allowed to show them on tv because of that whole nudity and fcc stuff but right. uh, remember the here. janet thing they're here <laughs> um, david why did you do that uh, i couldn't help it <laughs> i assure you if i ever got that close to janet i would definitely give it a try <laughs> nah, i think i'd just go the whole night <laughs> i love you <laughs> Yeah, I'd be kicked out. I'd, I'd have security. Oh, yeah, she'd probably kick you in then. Hope she has women's security. Oh, yeah. Like our yes. women's security. We have women's security. Sure we're, we do. We're going to show, like, a group of, uh, like, I don't know, seven-year-olds or eight-year-olds. We're women's security. You know, we're going to show, like, the, like, uh... Oh, Muppets? God. No, 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 like, uh... uh Old footage of like a Deb, was it Debbie Gibson? She's playing in the malls and all those crazy girls with teenagers and everywhere and stuff. That's our security. How are you going to get past that, man? You can't. Who's Debbie Gibson? Ah. All right. <laughs> Show a picture of Debbie Gibson. Everybody's like, hey, I remember her. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> no, they don't. Yeah. Show a picture of Prince. She, she's a Prince pretty just for the hell of it. Did you oh, I'm sorry. Picture? Show a picture of... The artist from... Well, no, he's not that no more, right? No, what is he? Prince again? What is he? He's Prince again? Is he the signal? <laughs> the peace that was, line? That was a very strange symbol. Okay. We should get symbols like that. Prince, you rock. He's Here's our one. symbol. Show up something. I don't know. <laughs> he's, he's you know, show Godzilla. Or Probably. <laughs> you're down with UVA and you're down with Godzilla. <laughs> oh, Godzilla. Show oh. that commercial. Right there. That would be funny. <laughs> I love that commercial. All right, uh, we're at the comic store. 222 4203. It's where you get all your comic needs. Honey, you quit saying that, Ryan. But it, it just flows. I never noticed that it rhymed before. You wouldn't. Oh, there you are. Uh, but anyways, yeah. call the number. Um, ask about comic books and stuff. And Start reading we'll, comic books. We'll talk about that now. Um, right now, this week and probably next week when you will see this is uh, I'm gonna start with mainstream. A uh, new Superman title. Well, not a new Superman. one. You can jump on a Superman title. Uh, any of them, I think. They're all starting sort of from not exactly from scratch, but they're kind of just. Refreshing everything for everybody, and mm-hmm. kind of, because after this, the uh, this is uh, part five of the Superman Godfall. Oh crap! Now I know why I had that in there. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys this. Get a good that shot. is not Superman. This artwork. 
It's great. But that is a that is um, what's like the name? Talent the same planet. Cadwell. Yeah, that, Talent that, that, Cadwell. That's the guy. Yeah. He's Caldwell. Uh, no, I think that's Caldwell. Caldwell. They probably misspelled it. Cadwell. I, thought I it hate it Cad. when they do that. But anyways, that's not Superman, but he's got all the same powers as Superman. And, oh, just look at that. The art in this is amazing. And that's well, a, a, a vision of Doomsday, some kind of a... You have to read it to find out. We're right, not, we're not spoiling one. it for you. Okay. But I, the reason I had that out, and you might be able to find all six issues, you know, because it's over with now. This was uh, it two, might weeks, be collect- two weeks ago. Did they say if they're going to collect it in trade or not? They are indeed. It's a six part. Oh, yeah. oh, it's a hardcover, so that means it's going to be kind of kind of kinda pricey, yeah. But it's probably going to be cheaper than the soft, a eBay soft cover will probably to find come out though eventually. eventually. I think, yeah. yeah. But it's going to be cheaper to get the hardcover than try to find all the issues. Which I don't know if we have all the issues here. You we did try. We we kind of come and go with it. We have uh, friends that are helping store out, bringing back issues in. They've been reprinting uh, the <laughs> Superman, Batman since his third printing. Really, now. that's some good stuff. Though. So that's you know they are different. doing are doing Classic. a lot of the multiple cover sales again, which is kind of iffy. Yeah, that was like at least a, the covers look good. It was a good time and it was a bad time during the '90s doing. We have at a, least they're progressing with the story. I mean, instead of in the '90s when they would just reprint, you know, number one with 15 different covers and number two never right, came right. out. And so, uh, yeah. I basically, I it's good to reprint an issue. Um, what what, what about that? So is that the one? Last, no, that's the, uh, number six right there. I, yeah, that's the. But I was talking about the Superman Batman. Yeah, that's probably this is probably the second printing. And there's another one of the uh, Adventures of Superman. Who's that behind that Adventures of Superman. And it's on uh, issue eight. Yeah. I mean, so the series is not far into it. I mean, you probably can get a trade on the latest. It's called Superman Batman. It's all one book, one series. So if you want to read about both guys teaming up and. Yeah, it's stuff. that's some good stuff, and this is an, a variant cover of one yeah. of the issues. This is the pencil art. This is before they ink it, before they color it. Uh, Michael it's Turner. Pretty. Uh, it does look really good. Known from earlier, his starting years, which is Witchblade, and then he went on to uh, Fathom. Fathom, which sporadically came out. But he was going through his cancer situation, which yeah, is he in survived remission. cancer. So I yeah. mean, he's a this, cancer survivor. This is something. This is like hopeful. This should give you hope. Because maybe. Then give me hope. He still draws better than I do. <laughs> well, you don't have cancer. So I need cancer to draw better? Couldn't hurt. Well, see, I got this syringe <laughs> yeah, full of uh, bat- great cancer. <laughs> I'm just going to stick it in my arm. I'm going to survive. Peanut died the next day. I am sad. So basically, if you don't smoke, this is our truth commercial. You can <laughs> draw like this if you quit smoking. People are gonna or call. If you people keep... are gonna call and be like, "I still can't draw for crap." Okay, then you need to uh, keep oh smoking. God. Smoke a lot, what, and then draw... when you're incoherent, you'll think that you're that good. <laughs> so it don't matter what they draw. Yeah, if you if you're out of it, man, you might you can think that you're that great. I don't know. I think I'm that great when I'm tired. All right, if you want to take his uh, advice, <laughs> don't take my Dude, advice. I have no idea what yeah, I'm talking don't. about. But uh, was it Superman's? Adventures of Superman, Superman in Action Comics, and Superman itself. There's a lot of Superman titles, Others, but yeah. don't collect them all. Like we said, you can just ask it. <laughs> you get, have to get, if you want to get, get the Godfall, one. but yeah, I know. But the six-part crossover that they yeah. did. But that, but it, that so. ended in six issues. So, but yeah, and it was like people can explain us issue. here what roughly happened or what to get. I don't know what to. Right, I understand. But if someone does start the series, they want to know roughly well what happened. There's someone in here in the comic store that can explain something to you. Or just start on one Hopefully. and stay on one. Right now, I say Superman, Batman, because it's introducing Supergirl like a whole beginning. You don't have to know the past. Right now, you can start, you can start as at issue is right number here. eight, and you don't have to worry um, about what happened before one through seven, which we is said interesting that all the same. With this one, the Ultimate Series with Marvel and Fantastic Four, you can start now. Are you, and if you're a younger audience, go for this. This is the uh, Marvel Age Fantastic Four. I feel like my chair's going to flop. Your yeah. chair probably is. But this is, you know, sort of manga. It's like uh, reprinting. I don't think it's actually reprinting. Be but cool and suck at the same time. It's number one. It's starting from the beginning. It shows how they came to be and stuff. And if you think that the... Uh, be cool and suck at the same time. What is this, 225 time. an issue? I think that's a little pricey because... 
it's not actually it's about the average price for comic books but they're they're putting it together like a little digest format of it and uh, I think we've highlighted those before Tokyo Pops got them all over the place Marvel's doing some now aimed at a younger audience 96 pages it's like the first five six yeah. issues and a little digest format 5.99 how do you say no it's six bucks and you get like that's barely a buck an issue and it's all collected in a little volume and stuff so you get like a whole you story buy arc. It, Donald Trump's gonna fire you. and if you can't wait for that though your apprentice Monday ever, nights on NBC if you wonder if you want to even pick that up for six bucks just pick this up for 225 you know it's interesting I like the art I like it a lot you think he has a mullet who Donald, Donald Trump. Trump or what is that what is he that doesn't hair, have a dude? mullet he doesn't have any hair he does have hair it's always like this look did you see the episode of Apprentice where he was outside in the in the wind and stuff and it blew up and he's like see it is real I didn't see it either <laughs> apparently it happened I guess I don't know uh anyway we got that uh, there's been a lot of video game did you hear about the Nintendo um uh SP you're happy about this? I am very happy about this. Not the DS, not the dual screen that they're going to be releasing at E3, which hopefully the Nintendo we'll have some what? It's called. It's just an. It's Nintendo style SP. Has E3 happened yet? Not yet. Oh, but we know about. It's stuff. Coming soon. But uh, it's it's. Oh man, it just looks neat. Oh. It okay, looks... well we'll get into this, but we'll show more <coughs> game news. But we can talk about this since yeah, you're all it's, riled it up. What? What is it? It's the Game Boy SP. You know, the Game Boy Advance SP, the little flip top action Game Boy and stuff they have now. But it's colored like the original Nintendo. It is coming out here. Yes, it's supposed to be Japan only, but it is coming out here. You can reserve it now at EB Games for five bucks. It's what I'm doing, and uh, it's oh my god, it's still a hundred dollars. But I know, but we got EB's running right? some. Uh, yeah, they are, but they're, they run so, a special thing whatever. where if you trade in like a Game Boy Advance and like two or three games or something like that, I'll, I don't really know the details just yet, hmm. but I'm sure Jeff will fill you in if you stop by there. But if you trade all that in, you can get one. And then uh, the best thing about this Game Boy SP that's coming out, the hmm. absolute best game is that it has Nintendo Classic games on it. For how much? Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars a game. You can get Classic Mario, Classic Zelda. Oh, just Donkey Kong. Um, oh my God, it's just crazy the games that they can, that they have coming out for that. Is that Are it? they gonna release any of the like multiple games on one cartridge and stuff like that too? Like a collection thing? I don't think so just yet. They're probably but soon. Maybe it would probably be best if they waited until the next Nintendo system's release because as of right now, I know that if you have uh, a GameCube and a Game Boy Player, you can play every Zelda game on that. Every Zelda game, they have them out. They, if yeah, it's, so you, you can get the Zelda, the Zelda. You can play every Zelda. single Zelda game that this, that's been out, except for the two that were for that. Anyway, so that's coming out in June. Go get yours. I'm getting mine. <laughs> Gee, this sounds like a. I'm excited about that, uh, man. I I mean, classic I Zelda on the Game Boy Advance, man. Oh, I'm gonna get the movie wait. news out so we can go more into game news too. Uh, movie slash comic. Uh, a comic's gonna be wow. A comic's gonna be a movie. Oh, oh my god. 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 Okay, <laughs> Bendis, uh, Brian Michael Bendis, who's been a writer of Spider-Man titles, uh, Ultimate Spider-Man. Ultimate Spider-Man, yeah, from the beginning. Going to be Avengers, yeah. They're going to be Avengers, going to be uh, writing that. What else is he writing right now? Uh, Ultimate X-Men. He's writing it, yeah. He's, right just, now, he's writing everything Ultimate. Yeah, uh, yeah pretty much. So he, th he's doing a lot and powers the series from Image, which is going to Marvel soon. It's but still the same Marvel. same story. It's nothing changed. But it is starting from number one. They're renumbering they it. They said they are. They're renumbering it. Oh god. Well, I know, but oh, it's well. like the beginning. It's it's not gonna like dramatic story change. Right. The, the same characters, same universe. Everything's the same. Everything that's happened before still happened continuity wise and stuff. Right. It's just it's like this is volume two. It says Charlie Theron is in negotiation to star in Jinx. It's an adaptation of Brian Bendis' story about a female bounty hunter. It'll be produced by Circle of Confusion f uh, for Universal. And uh, Theron will also produce through her own company, Denver and Delilah, Delilah, Delilah Films, and Bendis will write it. So hey, we got a big star, you know. Mm. And she was in what was that a Craved movie? Was it the Ra Golden Raved, Globe uh, Awards? No, no, the Ra the movie that she got a lot of. Wow, was it Monster? She was in that. 
Okay, never mind. Hey, wasn't she in that? Help me. Okay, she was in that movie Monster that got a lot of uh, awards. She won an uh, Academy Award for it. How are the Academy Awards? Why are you having flashbacks like you were there? <laughs> I like, I, I just... Uh, ah, it the, was the Academy uh, Awards. Good times. Good 1997. <laughs> Oh, that red carpet, man! What a what a trip! What, what a trip! What you fell on? It <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, a female bounty hunter who learns to trust a, a criminal in order to work together and locate millions of dollars that was abandoned. So it's an action flick here. Sounds which, a lot like Tomb Raider, but it's Charlie Theron. It's Charlie Theron. Yeah. So. Wow. The only reason to go see Tomb Raider was because of Angelina Jolie. So. So true. The first one wasn't bad. I never saw the second one. Uh, I haven't seen either of them. <laughs> you were you were with us to see the first one. I know, one. but kid problems or something. <laughs> Anyways, God, he was in the restroom for so long. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, um, no, that's another story for another time. Uh, Quentin yeah. Tarantino says Kill Bill won't be the end of the series, possibly. In volume Kill, 2 won't volume be the two. end. Oh, yeah. Well, it is. Still it haven't isn't. seen Volume it, Two. If I know. anybody wants to take me to go see it, I'd be more than happy to be kidnapped. Please, don't don't put yourself out there too much. Lima was kind of weird. Lima, I love you, but you are kind of weird. <laughs> they tell me to see Kill Bill Two. I don't care. Anyways, um, uh, anyways, in writing the film, he says uh, he created a, a lot of things from the ground up, and uh, he's saying that he has so many characters in it, you know that uh. You know, you could spin off and do. He said he'd like to explore it in a few different ways. So uh, one uh, rumor is uh, they're talking about a, a, a prequel anime. Or I heard about, about that. that. Uh, he says um, that sounds good because in Volume One there was a Japanese anime sequence that was really good in it. Really good, very bloody. Loved and um, it. loved it. He says Japanese anime feature about the origins of Bill, how Bill became Bill, and the deal with the three Godfathers, which was uh, Espen V Heo. Hattori Hanzo, the Hanzo blade, the blade that was created in Pyman. Esteban. Esteban. Esteban, thank you. Esteban. <laughs> Taliban. Uh, anyways. I think it would be Hyos, right? And, and Pai Mei. Pai Mei. I think it was Pai Mei. Yeah, then what is that other one? Hattori, Hattori Hanzo. Hanzo. Yeah. Hanzo. The Hanzo blade. Ah. Right. Yeah. Which is interesting about Hattori Hanzo, and he's really, it's really, uh, well, it's based off a... Uh, what is it? TV TV, TV, TV series. series. Well, I was going to say also off oh. uh, Japanese mythology or, and all that stuff because uh, Tori Hanzo has been in a shrew of games. Samurai Showdown. Uh, uh, World <laughs> Heroes. Um, just any ninja game usually mentions that, you know, but it, it, you can study about it. Just look up something about, like, Japan uh, mythology it. and stuff. Google it and, it you know. So I'm assuming say. it's a... Something true about that for it, you know, like I had to say about the mask and the sword and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Interesting stuff if you want to look into it. But anyways, uh, the blade was cool. Uh, also, he's talking about uh, doing maybe a follow-up to the bride story. And he was saying uh, there's, okay, I'm going to ruin part one if no one's seen part one. But there's a girl in there that her mother pass, passes away, <laughs> dies. Uh, <laughs> Murder. I mean, okay, quit. But anyways, uh, she tells Red her drop. her daughter, and she's like, you know, Red if you want to get re revenge, would you quit? She wants to get revenge. You know, come after me in the movie. And he's saying he would like to wait. You know, 15 years from now for the same girl to grow up and continue the story. I don't know what's gonna happen 15 years from now if we're still gonna be on the air and talking about this. Well, she's back to kill. Boop. Insert name of. You know how they kept doing that. Kill that. Remember, they did keep doing that. Didn't they, they do it still in the second one. Really? Yeah. Why do they do that? Oh, because they won't say her name. Right. Why? I don't know. It's a surprise. What's a surprise? It's not a surprise. It's boop. It's like if I say boop name, and then all of a sudden people don't know. It wasn't. Did they? Yeah. They said her name, didn't they? At the end. At the end of it. So why do they keep booping it? Am I doing that good? You are, yes. I'm, right. I'm believing it. What's my name? Boop. There you are. All right. <laughs> uh, all right. I don't know. What it, anyways. Um, <coughs> bah, bah, bah. Yada, yada, yada. Spaghetti Western set in Nazi Germany. Uh, <laughs> spaghetti Westerns. Now, the reason they're called uh, Spaghetti Westerns, and correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Producer Man, is because they were... They were produced over in like Italy or something, 
but they were like Western movies, like American Western movies. So they call it spaghetti they westerns. They call it spaghetti westerns because that's what they're made over in Italy. Or right. Italian stuff. Because he has a. They uh, were good. <laughs> need to spend time with your kids. It takes a man to be a dad. Welcome back from our commercial break. And we're back to talk about the Jenna things Jackson. we were talking about before we went on break, which we can't right. remember. Um, what was it? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Spaghetti movies, Westerns and... Spaghetti Westerns in Nazi Germany. Uh, right, right. Thundercats. <laughs> uh, Moving on. Lionel and the Thundercats are back in June with a new miniseries by uh, John Lehman and the Illustrators for Udon. Check out uh, milehighcomics.com. Uh, it'll say, look for where it says first look. Click on that. And you can preview whole issues of comics. So, like, if you're not uh, buying right now and you're just watching, like, yeah, I just watched the show or whatever. If you got a computer, go read them online and see if you like any. They have many. They had uh, Ultimate X Men, the one that's not even out yet, with uh, Brian K. Vaughn doing it and uh, Brandon Peterson. The whole issue. I haven't even read it all yet. Really? It's online. Is it pretty? I think it's pretty. He didn't care for his art much, though. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But uh, the they have uh, they have the Daredevil. I think father uh, the two the six issue, the whatever with the uh, Quesada doing it again. No, I think that's part two now, isn't it? I think they're on the part two. But uh, I thought they had that there. They have some DC Comics preview there. Ch- check out them or go to Marvel.com. They do have online. Uh, things to read still are and issues and stuff. Check them out. DC, I don't know if they do or not for sure. I don't. I don't know yet. But I know the Oni Press has like Oni online Press. comics. Top Cow is starting online. to do that. Read Check those. them out. And Image, I think, does it sometimes, maybe. So go go to those sites there, you know, and they're on our site, you know. Click on one of them and stuff, you know. Even what Devils do and Street Fighter and stuff, they they had the preview, all like five page preview art or whatever on it. Oh God! I said we're closed. God. That's <laughs> my little brother. Just kind of see if your car's done. No. Still no luck. Yeah, it's car's still, no still luck. crappy. Yes, I'm. If you see me out walking around, yes, that really is me walking. That whole exercising thing. So I see if I'm fr- oh, I know what I'm You thinking. won't be able to call me fat for long. Who? You. I didn't, say, I didn't say anything about you being big this episode. Not this episode. I didn't. Okay, maybe three other episodes <laughs> I have. I quit laughing. Don't help, Richie. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you laugh. Uh, anyways. Uh, you know, like um, there's a register between you and me, if man. If anybody's like into uh, uh, rap and Lima here, dude, I'm going to. Spot out a friend. People like rap in Lima? Oh, my God. Um, uh, in the, at the Civic Center, and it's for, like, a, a, a good uh, cause, cause and, and, and donations are being taken. I forget what it's for, so you're going to have to find it, information out, the little I'm giving you. But the rappers are called uh, the Goodfellas. Yeah, I, I kind of like the name. It's kind of gangster. <laughs> anyways, uh, anyways, a friend or a friend of a friend, it's actually his cousin that I know, uh, TJ, I know it's crazy. It's enough. family, man. It's, it's like family. Yeah. My cousin's uncle's sister's well, friend. Well, it's his cousin, but it's, it's Cyan's cousin. Oh, so hi Cyan. Hi Cyan. But uh, anyways, he's in the, in a group, and uh, they're supposed to be at the uh, Civic Center. I want to say it's May twenty second, and they said it'll say on the front. You know how the Civic Center they got that little uh, like a bulletin kind of bulletin thing, thing. thing, and it should say about them. Uh, Doing either releasing their album there or a preview of it, and uh, the donations from buying any CDs or something is going to uh, I don't know if, if someone that was like sick for something or whatever, and so it's going for a good cause. And, and if it's you're going like, to Peanut, that's why yeah, it's he's going to me. It. I'm pretending I'm sick for like this month, he, so I can he's get got some cancer money. now. He injected it himself with it. Now he's got a whole CD dedicated to him. And man, <laughs> you move fast, Shut man. Up. <laughs> But he did. But he, he did. I did hear a song that he did dedicate to uh, someone that did pass away on on there. That was real oh, yeah. deep on there and stuff. So was it good? 
I liked it. He was singing. All right. He didn't. Okay. He, I don't think he does really any other rapping too much. Or I haven't heard him rap though. I only heard bits and pieces of it. They work in New York and they come back here, so they got their head on straight on doing things and you know their priorities straight and stuff. So go check them out if you've heard of them. I'll try to have more information next time around. So if he sees this, hey, I said something about it. <laughs> he was supposed to give me flyers, but never did. So. Oh, yeah. Well, because I don't know. Hey, we were supposed to mention Earth well. Day, too. Earth. Oh, geez. It's over, though. Is it? Yeah. It was. Man, we are so weird. With this we, stuff. we shoot every two weeks or whatever. I was supposed to mention the March of Dimes. I was supposed to mention Earth Day. You're supposed to mention the March of Dimes? I know. <laughs> wow. Oh, well, well late. yeah. Just about. God, is there anything else I'm forgetting I was supposed to mention? I heard we're going to war. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we really are late. Heard we caught. Heard we caught Saddam. No, not that kind of war. <laughs> Goodness. Saddam and Bush are in the yard, like running with a paintball guns. I gotta stop playing that Harvest Moon, man. You sure it's got my time all messed our, up. Our current events is. You're better off watching the. Uh, <laughs> Dateline. NBC like eight Dateline or uh, 1044 or 32 or 33 or whatever, or CNN. Or you hear it every day. <laughs> hey, don't don't watch those. Watch us. We're more entertaining. Yeah, we're, we're <laughs> slightly entertaining or whatever. The but violence. at least we're not. At least we're not. I was gonna say at least we're not violence and violence like advertising TV twenty four seven. I wish I had something to throw at you. As right. is. Don't throw me. I'm not gonna throw you. I'm gonna frighten him. With what? With the scariest thing known to man. What? Someone's cut off hand. Eradicator. Oh. Hey, wow. Hey, what's going on? Scared him to death. There's the ambulance. <laughs> this is fearsome stuff. Did you film this? Don't look at him. <laughs> did, you, did you quit? Um, all right, what we got? Are we good? We are good, all right. Superman's mighty bullets. Might throw in something special on this episode, and I don't know what I'm leaving up Did you ever think about that? Wearing a black suit and going around saying I'm Superman? No, no, notice that he has a mullet. Yeah, Superman everything about a wearing them. Black people can't have them. No, no, I know that, but I'm just saying Superman's you know? indestructible, right? You know, I Actually, mean, I think he, I've seen his skin's pretty much mullet. impenetrable and stuff. Wouldn't that make his mullet indestructible? Isn't that the scariest thing you've ever heard of? An the indestructible, indestructible mullet? mullet? It sends shivers up my spine. I have nightmares about this. I'm so glad he got the haircut. I don't know how he got the haircut. The day Superman goes dreadlocks, I think the world has to fear. Something. Oh, man, Su Super Rasta Man. That'll work. Super Rasta Man, <laughs> yeah. I can totally go with that Hello, Lois, do you like Abby Jarman? Hello, <laughs> Lois, come back. And now I'm speaking Italian. I don't know. Uh, spaghetti, spaghetti Westerns. Westerns. <laughs> All right, um, we don't have anything else, do we? That's it. All right, Cheryl. we'll see you next whenever. Hi, mom. <laughs> Hi, dad. Where are we at? <laughs> now we're gonna have a little bit at the end of the credits, like we always do. People never watch it though. I know. Cut it off from there. Let's go.